Hey guys, Dylan from Nova Records coming at you with another video. It's been crazy around here. I know I say that at the beginning of every video, but that's just how my life is. Um, after my last pop up, I sold 2,600 records. I needed some more records. And uh, a friend of mine, I, I mentioned him in a video a couple of videos ago, um, has a storage unit just slammed full of records. I mean, he's got the craziest collection. Uh, and uh, I asked him, I was like, hey, would you want me to come over and buy some more stuff? And so he said, yes. Uh, it was yesterday, um, like yesterday evening, I was like, when would be a good time when we start talking? And we're like, the only time we could come up with was last night at 11 p.m. So I was there from like 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. just digging for records, got home at 3, went to bed at 4, woke up at 6 to go to work. So, crazy. Um, so that's kind of what happened. But man, I found some of the most insane, great stuff, like, and... A lot of this stuff's gonna be hard for me not to keep. So, a lot of jazz, a lot of stuff like that, um, and some more common stuff that I can sell pretty easily. So, this is what came of that dig. Um, another plug: we still got a bunch of these shirts. We got uh, red ones, gold ones, green ones. Um, here's a picture of some of the ones we got. Uh, if you want a shirt, email the email address in the description and I will get you whatever you need. Shirts, $15 each, $3 shipping anywhere in the United States. So, anyways, here is what I found. Right up at the top, I'm going to come out with, with my the one I'm, I have like three that I'm really excited about getting. Um, this is one of them, this is a record I've looked for for years. Um, this is Coltrane uh, Prestige uh, 7105. Is a 1958 pressing. Now this is not the first pressing, but it is the second pressing. First pressing was 57. Um, and these prestige labels, a lot of times, um, you know, you can tell the really early ones have the 50th Street address up here, like on the top of the label right here. And this has the Washington Avenue address. It's still uh, very early. This one's like pretty clean. Uh, I listened to it today. It sounds fantastic, but. I mean, still, even though it's second pressing, this is still really hard to find. I'm, I'm thrilled with it. Um, very early, like I said, 1958. So, holy moly, when I saw this, I about made brownies in my pants. Uh, this is uh, At Home with uh, Screaming Jay Hawkins. It's an original press, uh, original mono. Um, uh oh, it's an epic label. Now, this one has a lot of surface noise. It's got some scratches and stuff, but these things um, are, like, just incredibly rare. They have reissues, you can buy them for like 20 bucks all day long. But these originals are, I mean, you just don't see them. This is such a crazy record for the time. Um, just, oh gosh, it's nuts. I listened to it today, I just couldn't believe it. It's just, it's great. I love Screaming Jay Hawkins, but this album's just killer. Um, Dig, Miles Davis featuring Sonny Rollins. Uh, this is a first pressing on Prestige. Now, I was telling you before about the... Um, 50th Street address on the labels. There it is, if you can see it right there, right up here at the top. It's got that 50th Street address. Uh, this is the original pressing. Um, yeah, this is unbelievable. I listened to this today. This is actually really clean, too. So, um, it's just um, a, a really rare one. And I, like I said, I've been really getting into jazz lately. And it's got Miles Davis and Sonny Rollins. Those are another two of my favorite dudes, you know. So, Really excited for that one. Uh, Tunes from the Man Cave is, is hurting for for a couple of those, and I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep them for as long as I can. But I love them so much. Probably ended up getting to them at some point. This is uh, Blue Mitchell, the Cut Bears. This is on Riverside. It's original stereo pressing. Uh, it was a really great album too. Um, I really loved Cedar Walton's piano on here. Just like just I listened to this today at work and just freaking loved it. Um, this one is Brilliant Colors, Thelonious Monk. This is an original press on Riverside. That Riverside label. But man, this is a really nice, I mean, the, the vinyl's clean. Um, and Thelonious Monk's one up there with one of like, you know, for me, just, he was such an iconic person. He had such a unique style. At the same time, um, he was still pretty... A palatable for people that weren't like really into jazz so uh, I love Felonious Monk and I'm glad to get that one I have a reissue of that so I'll probably be selling that reissue at my next pop-up which is a Saturday 
Uh, this is a uh, song to grow on by Woody Guthrie, but it's sung by Jack Elliott. I'm not going to go too deep into this, but Jack Elliott and Woody Guthrie are really good friends. And both of them, uh, Bob Dylan learned a lot from both of them, but especially uh, Woody Guthrie. Woody Guthrie, incredible early American songwriter, phenomenal guy. Um, had, you know, if you know Arlo Guthrie, it's dead. Uh, but this is on Folkways. Uh, if you know me at all, you know I'm a sucker for folk Folkways stuff. Folkways was a label that issued a lot of educational stuff. Uh, music that just needed to be preserved. It was a fantastic label. Anything I ever see on Folkways, I grab it. I, I, I have so many Folkways now, but I, it's, it's one of my favorite things to collect is Folkways records. And I found a ton of it in here. So the, I'll, I've got a lot of that. <sighs> I'm trying to get through this pretty quick. This is Neil Young's self-titled uh, original first U.S. pressing. And if you know the, the first pressing, you might, you might think you have a first pressing. I posted one a while back on Instagram and said, first pressing of Neil Young's self-titled album, and um, Chris over uh, first pre first pressing goodness, his name fits him well, he gave me a, a swift reprimand. It was like, if you recall, the first pressing actually doesn't have Neil Young's name on the top, which is this. This is a technical first pressing. Very rare, very hard to find, and so I was pretty excited about getting that. The vinyl's clean enough for me to live with. This is Ian Matthews, if you saw through my eyes. Um, I had this previously, and listened to it, it was okay. And I ended up giving it to um, one of the guys that did my contest a while back. Um, he's really into Vertigo stuff, and so I, I gave it away to him because I didn't, I didn't listen to it in a while. Uh, but I've been kind of looking for another one. This is a, like a cheaper Vertigo, uh, but it's not like heavy psychedelic Vertigo like a lot of people know. It's, it's pretty uh, soft rocky, but it's Vertigo. So uh, this is Rare Bird, uh, Epic Forces. I love Rare Bird. We've been trying to get some more other stuff. Miles Davis, around about midnight, and wait for it, <whistles> six eye, pretty clean copy. Um, I've got to have a really hard talk to talk uh, with myself, man to man, and figure out if I'm going to keep this one or the MoFi copy I have. So I'll probably keep this one if I'm being honest. But you weigh in, you know, send me a comment, help me decide because I'm having a hard time. This flaming groovies uh, jumping in the. This is Flamin' Groovy's Jumpin' in the Night. I've been looking for this for a while. This is uh, the best of their albums, in my opinion. Uh, it's a clean, original UK pressing of this. Pretty cool. Um, John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman. Uh, this is the Phillips label. It's on Impulse, but a lot of the uh, foreign pressings, like I think this is the UK also. Um, yeah, a lot of the foreign pressings. They had the Phillips label. I've had a couple of them like that, but this is a, this is a great album. I used to have a reissue of this, and I sold it, uh, but I'm going to keep this one. I need to build back up my my um, my uh, impulse stuff. So a lot of stuff I'm showing right now is stuff that I'm thinking about keeping. I'm ready to it, uh, and well, I'm going to show you the other stuff that I'm definitely selling. Uh, this is Folkways, uh, Dark Ships of the Forest, um, Turning Toward the Morning. Uh, it's going to be boring to some of you guys. Uh, Gene, uh, Red Path, cool stuff. There's a couple of these are more, uh, Gordon Bach. I've got a couple of his full plays already. Uh, but I just thought I'd show them. Flying Burrito Brothers, um, let's see, Last of the Red Hot Burritos. This is a really good live record. I just listened to this and, but I used to have one of these. So this is a, a little seam issue here. This is a, on Fontana. This is a French 10-inch uh, from Miles Davis. I used to have one of these, and I think I sold it to Chris at Tunes from the Man Cave. Uh, but, but I was like, I'll never see another one of those. It's like a French 10-inch Fontana type deal. And there one is right there. So I was excited to see that one again. I don't know how common they are. I mean, I found two of them. Um, Josh White and Big Bill Brunzi. Uh, the Jazz Greats. The Jazz Giants, I'm sorry. This is on MRK or MRC. I'm not sure how you say that. Um, but yeah, anything. I mean, Josh White stuff is, is for me, it's like, okay, whatever, middle of the road. Big Bill Brunzi's good stuff. Uh, Pacific Jazz, Chet Baker and crew. Chet Baker's phenomenal. It's a UK pressing. Um, this is uh, <laughs> piano uh, interpretations with Oscar Peterson, Art Tatum, uh, Teddy Wilson, and Bud Powell song uh, Norgren records so it looked cool to me I'll probably I might sell that one this is Dizzy Gillespie at Newport 
Um, and this is, I believe, a UK pressing. I know it's not a US pressing. Um, let me see if I can figure that out real quick. I don't know. Anyways, I know it's got that fold over back, so I think, I think it's UK. <clears throat> Fred Neal. Fred Neal's a fantastic folky acoustic guitar player type guy. Um, so I'll grab that one. Um, whatever. The Horse Silver Quintet. Um, Silver's Blue. This is on Epic. Pretty cool label. Um, yeah, so it's another jazz. This one I don't know much about. This is a triple exposure by Hal, uh, Hal McGinsch. So, but I saw that um, Prestige with the 50th Street Address, and so I picked it up. May not be any good, but it's some jazz for sure. It's an alto tenor clarinet Prestige. Um, <clears throat> Mama Yancey sings Art Hodes plays blues. Looks looks really good. And I've never heard it, but look at that face. You know you know you're gonna like what's coming out of that. She has got some soul. Um, this one's string driven thing. The machine that cried. This is a kind of a prog deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it for a spin. I already had a copy of this Pink Anderson, but uh, really good blues. I already had a copy of my, my copy. has got some like water damage on it, so this one's cheap enough for me to grab, and I feel bad about it. Monk, Thelonious Monk, 2i Columbia, this is a really nice copy, like I just said, I love Thelonious Monk, I used to have that a long time ago and I sold it, um, really cool, this is Heavy Heads, it's on chess, so this has um, uh, Sonny Boy Williamson, Little Milton, uh, Little Walter, uh, Washboard Sam, John Lee Hooker, Muddy Waters, Hal and Wolf, so, yeah, keeping that. Uh, Coleman Hawkins, the Gilded Hawk. Look at that capital label. Um, pretty cool, pretty clean. That one, I'd, I'd probably let go. This is the Hawk Swings, Coleman Hawkins on Crown Records. Um, I mean, I guess I might as well take it out and show you the friggin' label. Uh, Charles Brown, Ballads My Way. This is some uh, blues on Mainstream. If you've been following me here lately, you know I've been getting into some... I mean, I've always loved blues. It's like my favorite, one of my favorite genres. But lately I've been finding it, which is hard. So This is Art Tatum, uh, Piano Solos Volume 1. It's a 10-inch. Um, yeah, look at that. Really nice Deca. So, uh, this is another... It's, when Folkways, there's a lot of like North Carolina music that's recorded on Folkways. So when I see that... I really try to grab this is in Reese, North Carolina, Frank Prophet. I don't know what this is, but like I said, folkways, I'm all over it. Um, I think, I think, I just, <laughs> I know this is stupid. I think I just got one of these recently. So it might have been, I think I got a reissue of it in the last collection I bought. But anyways, this is Folk Festival, the Blues, recorded live, Muddy Waters, Buddy Guy, Howler Wolf, Sonny Boy Williamson, just some big top dogs. Um, some of my favorite people. Been looking for this for a while, Lewis and Clark Expedition. Uh, really killer psych rock garage feel to it. I've uh, been looking for that and haven't had any luck finding it. And I found it and I was like, yes. This is uh, Bird's Word on Savoy. Look at that. Uh, Donald Bird. Um, yeah. It's killer. Make sure I get it in here without doing any serious damage. But yeah, this is super early. Um, yeah. I was excited to see this. Stevie Wonder, Down to Earth. Um, I've, I've been getting into Stevie Wonder more here lately, especially his earlier stuff, so I was glad to see that. Um, them Dirty Blues, Cannonball Adderley Quintet on Riverside. Riverside's one of those labels. It almost doesn't matter what it is. If I see it, I'm getting it. Um, Willis Jackson, Keep On Blowing. Look at that prestige. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Singing the Blues. Oh, that's the label right there. That's Mr. B.B. King. And just look how happy he is right now. He's like, hey guys, I know I'm singing the Blues, but I couldn't be happier about it. Um, a lot of these earlier ones, you don't see Lucille. He's playing an Epiphone and that. Pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, Electric Sun. 
Firewind. Uh, this is some like killer guitar stuff. I had a copy of this six or seven years ago, and when I sold everything, I sold it. And it's just not one I see very often, so I grabbed it. Here is Phineas, the piano archery, Phineas Newborn Jr. Look at that Atlantic label. This is pretty clean. I'm um, excited to listen to this. Haven't heard this before, but he highly recommended. He's like, man, you got to check this out. Really good. So, you know what? I took the bait. <sighs> Albert King, my spirit animal. Uh, live wire, blues power. Good Lord. I mean, just look at this guy. He's just giving it all he's got. Um, I love Albert King. His style is just unprecedented. Solo Monk. Wait for it. Drum roll. Splat out, white label promo. That's what that is. It had his promo strip on it, and some numbskull ripped it off. That's a really nice copy. Karen Dalton. Oh my gosh. Uh, in my own time, there's I have another Karen Dalton record somewhere, somewhere. If you like Joni Mitchell, listen to Karen Dalton. If you like Judy Sill, listen to Carrie Dalton. If you don't like any of that stuff, listen to Karen Dalton. She's phenomenal. Really good acoustic type of, really, I mean, I say acoustic songwriter type thing. She has such a unique style. I mean, unbelievable. And I'm going to look for this record for a long time. When I saw it another time, I just, I was just, my, my jaw dropped. I was so excited to get it. Had a really good deal on it, too. Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. Um, this is a blue note. Uh, yeah. Burt Janch. Oh my gosh, Birthday Blues on Reprise. Um, just look at that doggy. He's like, I'm so happy. It's because Burt Janch is the man. Uh, early art, Art Farmer on Prestige. Um, it's got a status label. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Sonny Rollins, Horace Silver, and Wynton Kelly. Uh, I'm excited to listen to that. I haven't heard that yet. So uh, Shirley Collins. Uh, this is another one. I've not heard this, but he highly recommended it, so I grabbed it. B.B. King, Alive and Well. This has got some killer uh, ring wear and stuff on it, but the vinyl's like near mint. So, grabbed that. Josh White, uh, Chain Gang Songs. I love this Electra label. This old school Electra label. Uh, a lot of stuff that comes on that label is really good for me, anyways. Oh gosh, I'm trying to hurry up this video. I know it's starting to drag a little bit. This is, um, I'll just show you the, that's Janis Joplin there, partying. So that's what that looks like. You take this out. It's called um, Blues Underground Sound 70 Super Hypermost. Um, and this is like the Odgins Nut Not Gone Flake uh, insert. It goes out like that. And so basically this is a comp put out by Columbia. It's on green vinyl. Uh, it's a compilation of like uh, blues rock that they had on their label and stuff like that. Underground-ish stuff. And some of the stuff's not really that underground. It's like Janis Joplin, you know. Uh, but it was just kind of a really cool promotional type thing that they did. I have never seen this before. And I saw it and kind of did some research on it. And it's really cool. Um, so, I don't know. That's one of those things. I think it's really cool right now, but I probably will end up selling it. Um, Harry Tuft. Sounds like a terrible name to have in life, but he put out a Folkways record, so I bought it. Uh, John Fahey, phenomenal guitar player. Volume 1 and Volume 2. Um, I'm trying to hurry through this, guys. This is Pop Blues with Junior Wells, Buddy Guy, Otis Spann. Love those guys, all three of them. This is Tangerine Dream, Ricochet. Some great prog. This one's really special. Like when I saw this, I was really excited. Not worth much, probably. But this is called Hand Me Down Music, uh, Old Songs, Old Friends, Volume 1, Traditional Music of Union County, North Carolina. This is Folkways. Union County, North Carolina. I've spent a majority of my life in Union County, North Carolina. Backwoods, country, great people, just awesome. But there's a lot of good bluegrass and stuff that comes out of Union County. And so this is great. Uh, Betty Smith sings songs of North Carolina, traditionally sung songs of North Carolina. Uh, a lot of this is more in the High Point, Greensboro area. So, still pretty cool. 
Well, the last puff, Spooky Tooth, Spooky Tooth, phenomenal psychedelic band. And this one, just to put a cherry on top of the freaking Sunday. Uh, gospel Blues and Street Songs, Reverend Gary Davis and Pink Anderson. And look at that Riverside label. Does, does that not just make you want to... Gosh, love it so much. Um, I have not put this on yet, but I love Reverend Gary Davis. Reverend Gary Davis, killer blues guy, uh, saying gospel. He was an ordained minister. He's from North, Car North and South Carolina. Um, yeah, he was all over these parts where we live and, um, that's significant to me, but he's also just killer. So it's Pink Anderson. So anyways, so that's the stuff that I found really interesting for me in my collection that I might keep, but like a lot of that stuff I know I mentioned, I probably will be selling it in the future. But, uh, anyways, this is the stuff that I'm definitely selling at my next pop-up. I guess got to price it all. So check it out. All right. Stones, Great for Dead bootleg. Hank Crawford, some Hank Crawford, Black Sabbath, Stones. There's a, like a thousand copies of Led Zeppelin IV in here, just full disclosure. Thelonious Monk, Otis Redding. Yeah, a lot of classics, you know. Prince, Funkadelic, Cream, Rainbow, Iron Maiden, Dylan Dylan. This is a gold label. Forever Changes is a nice one. Quadraphonic. <laughs> oh, Blues Magoo. This is Nectar. Killer stuff. John Prine. Cliff Brown. Buddy Rich. It's a nice empty the outdoor with a cover on it. Uh, blood on the tracks. Oh, yeah. Jimmy Smith. This is a blue note. It's a lot of up and twos. Um, Green Onions. Holy moly. Can you just imagine a better record? I cannot. Uh, yeah, Quarter Crimson King, phenomenal. Some more Led Zeppelin Fours and Black Sabbaths. The Kings, Muscle Hillbillies, that's a great one. Kind of hard to find. All right, let's let it bleed. Oh, look at that pet sounds really nice. Some White Albums, Van Morrison, Sam and Dave. This stuff is just great stuff. This is a blind buy. I might listen to this. You know I'm a sucker with uh, uh, albums that have cows on the cover. Look at these. Two of these holographic stones. All right. Mod Jamal. Some Beatles. A couple of these Grateful Deads. Street Gilberto. Some White Album action. Bunny Whaler. Dylan, this is touch. This is a fantastic psych record. It's got a little touch of prog, uh, but man, it's killer. It's got a really cool interactive sleeve. That's one I really like. All my brother's band, another white album. Black Sabbath, Dylan, Marishi, Mahesh Yogi. So, um, this is a really nice in the shrink. Might be great band cover. Uh, some you know, common stuff. Blues and Blues. Ah, oh, Rory Gallagher, so good. Johnny Cash. But G, this is a really nice Johnny Cash. Give me some home. This is a Lionel Hampton. I'm gonna listen to this, I'm gonna keep it. Give me some home. We got Sam Cooke. Bam. Miles Davis. This is a Riverside. Got to pull that one out. I might keep that one too. Oh man, it's good stuff. This is a uh, Funkadelic. America eats its young. It's a really cool. It's a textured cover. First pressing. Leon Thomas album. Flying Dutchman. Great stuff. James Brown. Albert King. I'll play the blues for you. Please do Albert King. I love it when you do that. Uh, Sam and Dave. Hold on, I'm coming. It's not just a great cover with two grown men freaking just chilling on the turtle. It's some great music too. Uh, this is called Satire. Never heard it, but looks good. Emma Rhodes. Some, um, another Oscar Peterson. Ellen McElwain, you know how I look, that stuff. And this is a really cool... Look how wide the borders are on this Abbey Road. And I was like, what the heck is up with this thing? It is a uh, Mexican pressing. Pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. And uh, yeah... Thanks for watching. Peace.